everybody welcome back to my channel it's just Cheryl here again and I am back with another hair video I've wanted to do this video for ages but um yeah I had to borrow the tool off my mom I'm going to be doing kind of like the first impressions on this little baby this is the Revlon one step dryer and volumizer it's off a little bit from what it says so the Revlon Pro collection one step dryer and volumizer is a two-in-one styling tool that gives the power of a dryer and the volume of a styler in your hands. The unique oval design runs through your hair for detangling, drying, extra lift at the roots, well fine, smooth volume and curled ends in one step. Even blow drying the back of your hair is simple, boosted by iconic technology. It transfers airflow instantly to your hair and reduces the time it takes to dry and style, giving you more time to dazzle the world. We'll give it a shot. I bought this for my mum as a Christmas present. My mum, years and years ago, used to have like a Revlon round brush dryer thing, and you know, and she absolutely loved it. Like it was an absolute baby. I remember being a kid and I always used to mess around with it, and she just loved it. And then it broke. You know, things get old. And I had seen this, and I've seen like loads and loads of reviews on this online. And when I went into Boots, like near Christmas time, it was reduced from something, I think it was about £60, it down to £45, and there was only one left on the shelf, so clearly I had to get it. And my mum's been absolutely over the move, and she loves it. But I've never actually got my hands on it myself. I've been in the shower and everything, I have put some makeup on because I look like dirt. I've washed my hair twice with shampoo and obviously conditioned it. I've conditioned it this time with Tresemme just cheap cheap stuff really i put in some hair food i did a review on well kind of like your first impressions again on this a while ago and i wasn't very impressed with it as a conditioner but i've just popped some of this in my hair it's kind of like a leave-in conditioner and actually like it's kind of like defined all of my waves so that's quite nice and then i've also put in some heat protector spray this is by gum hair this is so old it's probably out of date but i put it in my hair anyways you know try and protect it and all of that from what i've seen online it's quite noisy so i will be just putting some light like, music over normally when i'm kind of blow drying my hair and i get like a little bit of volume you know just a little bit i would normally use this this is more like this is from sleeping rollers i think i paid like a fiver for this years ago and it's quite big you see the difference so this is what I would use for a standard blow dry. Now obviously this is the new edition. There's a couple of settings on the back here. So you've got like an off button. You've got like a little snowflake, which I presume is like a cool setting. One little line, which is like a low setting and two lines, which is a high setting. See how noisy it is. do massive sections be here all day if I do that it'll not work properly my hair would probably say is about 70% dry I've let it dry naturally it could be like a little bit more dry it's quite light as well it's not as heavy as what I thought it was going to be I was expecting it to be like really heavy but it's not the way I like twist around on the bottom so that'll be handy like not snap your wires which is good how do I turn it on again here we go
Oh my god, like I'm a bit hot. I don't know if you can see my makeup so went all like whoo. I had it on the highest setting. I don't necessarily think you always need it on the highest setting, but I started off on the highest setting, so I was gonna finish on the highest setting. But I feel quite hot after that. Like it took us about 20 minutes to do my hair, but oh my god, like look at these little flakes. I mean, as you can see, my layers aren't very short in my hair, they are you know long and I you know what these bangs or whatever. My hair just feels like really, really soft for how damaged it is. Normally I would use my big round brush and I get quite a nice soft finish, but this just feels more like, like I would quite happily walk out without straightening my hair after doing that. Like it came out really nice. Like it's lovely. It's really nice. I don't know if you can see. And my hair can look a bit crap sometimes, like I'm just going to say it as it is. But especially when I straighten it, like if I use the round brush, I would have to straighten my hair. And it, it looks nice, but it just looks flat. This is like, it did the two in one. It's kind of straightened it with a bit of volume, like dried it straight with the volume so it hasn't flattened it. And these bits will just drop and they'll flick. But my hair does that anyways when I straighten it. It never stays like straight. These bits always flick away and do what they want so this doesn't bother me but it's just made like it just made it look like really nice oh my god and it's really shiny as well oh i'm very impressed like well impressed the whole bit about it giving you loads of volume it doesn't give you loads of volume at the root like maybe i'm doing it wrong it is the first time that i've done it but i think it gives you volume within your hair like i said when you straighten it you flatten your hair but this is this is kind of oh, straightening it and giving you that volume in your hair and I'm like really, really impressed. This is a thumbs up from me. Like I would totally recommend buying it and I don't know if I'm going to give this to my mum but no, I'm going to give my mum it back, don't worry. But I think I'm going to go out when I get a bit of pennies. I'm going to go out when I think I'm going to buy myself one because you're just beautiful. Like you've just done such a good job, pet. Totally recommend that if you're in the UK and you buy it from... Like, wherever you're going to buy it from, buy it from Boots. And I'm not paid or anything to say this. But, like, you get it off Amazon. Yeah, great. You get it from Boots. You get Advantage card points back. That could be, like, a new lipstick when you've got no money and you need to make yourself feel better. Just a little tip for you there. Thumbs up. And please subscribe because it's a massive thumbs up from me. And, yeah, I'll see you in my next video.